Hello guys, this is me from techtutes.com and in this course we are going to see how to make a image library a basic of how to make a image library not whole image library I am going to discuss so first of all before making a image library I mean image driven website you must know how to upload a file so firstly we are going to upload a file and make a you can see I have make a connection to the local host PHP in the database by the way is this database which I have made PHP image here this is just to connect to your database I make this file and now I am going to make an upload file here For uploading a file we must make a form, uh, form first action to itself only that means upload.php method would be post and this step is important ink type ink type would be multipart form data this means in this form we are going to submit some files and datas remember this part, all whole part this whole part is of html of course no php is introduced yet then we are going to make an input of type file I'm going to name it as file underscore upload. Please remember the name because you are going to access with this name only. Then we are going to make a type of submit. name would be submit and value would be upload you can see let's check it out yeah, there is a file and upload you can choose any file you can see here I'm going to wallpaper Only this one you can see its name upload well <coughs> nothing is going to be it I make an upload folder here I make this folder so that the uploaded file would be would get here when I upload it now it's a time for upload here is an upload PHP tag here firstly I'm going to need this file php image.php which is my connection string which have my connection defined so I'm going to include that file with required ones and that would be php image.php 
wait a minute i have not given the complete path yet the complete part would be connections slash now we firstly have to check if <coughs> post button uh, submit button is clicked or not so to do that we we'll write post submit this means the post button has been submitted So when the button is clicked, we are going to run a function, a basically block of code in which firstly we are going to get the value of this file, file underscore upload in here. To access a file, we use dollar underscore file and name it as upload underscore sorry file underscore upload I just want to show you one thing when you upload a file you get its five fields you can see we can get an array print underscore r print underscore r is for printing an array let's see what happens here by the way this error comes if there is no defining the submit button is not been defined yet and yet we are running it so for that reason you can just simply write here error underscore reporting zero this is the simplest way now see here upload now see what happens when we upload a file let me tell you this alienware file upload it, that array gives the name which is alienware.jpg type would be image slash jpg then it gives the temporary name the temporary name is the name which is from which it is has been stored into the directory temporary directory the error is zero and then the size now see this we are going to access with these kind of things name type temp underscore name So let me remove this and firstly we are going to wait a minute firstly we are going to get the name of the file ok so dollar name would be upload files remember this is now a 2d array to access it we have to specify here name and we want this name without any error so there is a function called base name which, are, which will give us the name plus the extension
लाइक एलियमेयरपी जेपीजी जी और एनीथिंग लाइक वन टू थ्री डॉट टेक्स्ट दिस वुड गिव दिस वन एंड नाउ वी नीड दिस टेम्परेरी नेम ऑल्सो टी एम पी एंडस्को नेम बिकॉज नाउ दिस फाइल इज रेस्टेड इन अ टेम्परेरी फोल्डर एंड वी वॉन्ट दिस फाइल द टेम्परेरी फाइल to get into a folder of our choice which was upload Here you can see this let me show you c vamp then temp and php there must be the file must be the hidden this is hidden so we need to access this file from here so for that we need its temporary name we are going to store it in tmp underscore name so and now we are going to define the directory in which we are going to move this file and this would be in our case it is upload means this directory upload directory now we want to move this file move the temporary file for this we'll put this in condition in which we can check whether it has been moved or not so for that simply we use a function name move underscore upload underscore file so uploaded file sorry uploaded move uploaded file then firstly we are going to specify the name of the file the temp name of the file t underscore name and the path of the directory in which we want to store it here is it dir we concatenate it dot here and with the name we want it we want the same name as the name it was on the server or oh, sorry in a client so we'll simply write the name is pretty much up now we are going to tell it what to do if this is successful then we are going to echo file upload success and in else part we can raise the error the error that the array gives but i'm going to simply echo it upload 
fail. So let us see what happens here. submitted it so let me choose another file for you here yeah, this du file you can see the upload is empty now when I upload it file upload successfully and now in this upload folder we have this file now in next part we'll see how to save the path <coughs> path and name into the table so that it can be easy to access the file so rest we'll see in next video thank you for watching